Okay, students, what we're doing today is we're going to be looking at the key features of linear equations. Um, in this lesson, you will identify key features of graphs of linear functions. Your learning target is by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify key features of linear functions on the coordinate plane, including x-intercept, y-intercept, zeros, and slope in a mathematical and real-world problems. Day one, we're just doing mathematical. So we start out with this equation. We have our x and y, so we have this um, table of values. And what we want to do is identify the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the zero, and the slope. And so um, we're going to get started here on this. So we have our x values here, and we have our y values. So the x values are all on the first line. That's all your x values right there. And then the corresponding y values are right below it. So you go to your next slide, and you want to put these values in. So I made a picture of my slide here, so I'm going to press a plus sign, and I'm going to choose table. What we're going to do is recreate this table in Desmos. Notice now it has an x1 and y1. The x values are negative 5, so you click your keyboard and allow this to help you. Negative 5 matches up with 5. The next one is a 5 value for x, which is our domain. And our range is a negative 3 minus 3. You might can't see it because I have this in the way, so I'm going to pull it up a little bit. The next value for y, I mean x, is 10. So type in 10. And that matches up with the y, or the range value of negative 7. The next value is 15. And it matches up with negative 11. Now, what we're going to do next is have the decimals calculator provide us with our equation. So we're going to choose y. And we have to tell it to look at this table. So we're going to say y1. And then we're going to choose a very special sign. It's called the tilde. It's squiggly line. Notice how I got there. I pressed the ABC, and then I see this tilde sign. And I'm going to choose M for slope. And I'm going to choose X1 because X1 is in my graph. Notice it immediately graphs a line. And then we're going to say plus B. B is our Y-intercept. So the calculator immediately gives you the value of the M, which is your slope, and B, which is Y-intercept. So we're going to close in our keyboard, and we're going to type here right below it, M. So let me go here and open the keyboard and type M. And notice this, that it repeats that the slope is a negative 0 0.8. You want to change that to a fraction by clicking on the circle. So I can see that my slope is a negative 4.5. Now let's look at our graph here. Um, I'm moving it so you can see it. So we have a point here where the graph crosses the x-axis, and we have a point here where the graph crosses the y-axis. So we see that 1.25 and 0 is your x-intercept. So I'm going to, I know what that is, but that's my x-intercept. This is my y-intercept. That's where my line crosses my y-axis. So I'm going to go back. So my x-intercept was 1.25. <clears throat> I'm press submit. The y-intercept I don't remember, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the line again. My y-intercept, when the x value is 0, that's my y-intercept, is 1. It's the same as this b value, which is 1. So we go back and we're going to put in the y-intercept as 1. And 0 is something new. 0 and x-intercept are the same thing. So this is saying try again. So maybe we didn't put it in right. So make sure we got all our values right. Let's see. Our x-intercept is 1.25 comma 0. So they probably want us to put in the actual point. So let's go back here. And let's see if we put it in as a point. 1.25 comma zero close it delete all that extra stuff 
it's a point. I wrote it as a point, so we got to do it as 1.25. So let's do it 1.25. Then we do a comma, and then we put zero. Let's submit that and see what happens. Great. So you have to put in your x-intercept as a point. So it says the table, some points in the graph. So we put it in as a point. So the y-intercept, if I just put one, it tells me to try again. The y-intercept is when the x value is zero. So that's going to be zero, comma, one, close parentheses and press submit now that's right great now the zero in decimal form is just the x-intercept so we're going to put 1.25 and press submit it said try again because it wanted us to put it in as a point so we're going to put in parentheses 1.25 comma zero and submit and it says and i'm right then it asks for the slope the slope in our equation, we found that right away. The slope was, to see, the m value. We use this equation to get our, our slope, which is our m value, which is a negative 4 over 5, or it is a negative 0 0.8. So when it goes over here, it says it wants it in, let's see what form. It wants it in decimal form, so let's put our answer as z negative 0 0.8 and let's see if it accepts that great so we got all of our values for this problem so what we simply did is we went to the next slide we put in our table then we used our equation to program our decimals to tell us what our values are it tells us that m is equal to a negative 0 0.8 and we saw we can toggle on the decimal and the fraction for the slope. And our B, which is our y-intercept, is this. The way we got our x-intercept, we just looked at where the line crosses the x-axis. This is our x-axis. This is our horizontal line. This is our x-axis. And notice they're all given as points. And that's it. So we can stop. And I'm going to let you all do the rest on your own.